Hello everybody, Tahoe Yak Fisher here. I have got my buddy's Bonafide SS107 in the backyard and he uh, has a Bixby motor kit that goes in the center pod and uh, needed a rudder installed and Bonafide was sold out of their rudder and uh, I called up my buddy Ryan over at Selec Designs because I know they have a pretty universal rudder. And I told Todd that I wanted to give it a try and see if we could install it on this kayak. So I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. Now, uh, here is the rudder installed on the boat. And it was a pretty direct install. We did have to... Uh, come up with some spacers right here if you can see that and that was to uh, Increase the steering uh, Range we didn't want this part of the rudder to hit the kayak right here. So uh, The hardware store had those nylon spacers. That was pretty easy to do uh, Had just enough room to hook that pin on the bottom, but it was a nice install now uh, I'm not a big fan of the steel cables, so I used the um, Dyneema that I used on my kayak for my uh, trolling motor steering, and we had to put in the uh, LDPE tubing for the, uh, the cables to go through, and we had to come up with a hoist mechanism. So Bonafide gives you two uh, spots where you can exit the cables back here and uh, they suggest this one for steering a trolling motor and this one for steering a rudder so we used these to steer the rudder and I used this for the hoist mechanism um, you know uh, pluses and minuses that means the rudder has to be turned this way in order to hoist it out of the water um, but when you turn it this way and hoist it, it stows it out of the way quite nicely. So uh, I'm just going to go up here and show you where we uh, exited everything. So um, here is the tubing that is going to come out that is for hoisting the rudder out of the water. And then here is where we exited the tubing for the uh, steering, the pedals. You know, so, and then... Um, in an effort to keep it very adjustable, I, I put a screw in the back of the pedal there and I left a nice tail on the, uh, the cord so that uh, Todd could adjust the steering to exactly how he likes it. So if we're going to stow the rudder, we need to uh, steer it all the way to this side. So there we have it. We have steered it to that side and then we can grab a hold here. We're going to pull that up. It hooks right there. Now I want you guys to see what that is because that is a tarp toggle. Uh, I removed the ball. Uh, I shaved it down a bit to make it kind of a button. And then I put it in there with a stainless steel quarter 20 uh, screw and bolt uh, nut. Sorry. Uh, and then so we go back here and take a look at how that hoists out of the water. Um, we have a little loop of uh, utility cord there just so that there's less friction in the system and it can be pulled apart. Uh, and instead of this rudder flipping out of the way, it pulls vertically out of the way, which I think I like a lot. So uh, we're going to put it back down. And I'm going to go slow so you guys can kind of see how this thing works. How cool is that? So, uh, easier to uh, pull it out of the water and, and you know, less uh, to go wrong than those things that, that flip up over. Anyway, I think so. The, the install came out really nice. You know, the, the pedals work pretty good for the system. It doesn't pull very far. It doesn't take very much throw to go from side to side, which is nice because you'll also be able to still use those pedals as braces. So uh, if you have a Bonafide and you're having trouble coming up with a rudder 
they're sold out, you don't like the way they plummet, whatever. Uh, here is an option. Selec Designs, the True Course Rudder. Uh, I think it installed great. I really like how the hoist works with the tarp toggle. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Thanks very much for watching. Tight lines, Yak Fisher out.